Hey guys, I got a couple shotguns to show you today. They're pretty cool. Some of you guys might know what they are just by looking at them, especially the receiver. They are Winchester 1897 shotguns. The bottom one is a trench configuration, and the top is a riot. They're both made by Norinco, the Chinese company. I picked this one up last week with hopes of converting it into a riot gun. Or sorry, in, from a riot gun into a trench gun. They both have 20 inch barrels. The cool thing about these is that when you hold the trigger down and you pump, the, the hammer continues to fall. So it's, it's what's known as slam fire. There's no disconnector. So as long as the trigger's down and you keep pumping, it'll shoot. And that's why the Germans tried to get them outlawed in uh, World War One, is because they were so devastating in a straight line, you could just pump away a lot of buckshot real quick. And then uh, last Sunday, I picked this one up. This is the riot model, or sorry, the trench model, which has the sling attachments. It has a cut receiver so that you can throw a shell in there quicker in combat. This one does not have that same cut. On the top, you can see this one's uh, a little bit less combat effective. You can see that top cut there. This one also has the bayonet and the heat shield piece. I should have brought it with me. I do have the bayonet for it. It's a 1917. The bayonet is almost as long as the action of the shotgun. It's this crazy long spear on basically on the end of the shotgun. The other differences include the wood. This has the the rounded pistol grip. This has the, the little bit different cut. Military M1897 cut. I purchased 100 rounds of buckshot the other day. So, well, and actually uh, 25 rounds of slugs as well. So we'll be having fun with this. So hopefully this summer I'll get it on camera. Um, I'm probably going to just keep this one now that I have it the way I want it. And then I'll probably sell this one. Just because I was going to, I bought it only to convert. But it this one actually has a way smoother action. This thing, it racks like silk. This thing's a little bit stiffer. So anyway, yeah, these aren't too common. You see them occasionally on YouTube. But you don't see them for sale hardly ever. Uh, they run anywhere from about $400 up to about $500 a piece. Uh, obviously the trench gun brings in more. Probably about $500. This one's a little bit lower, so you know, you're looking more around $400. Uh, both of them are in pretty good condition. You can see the bluing on them is, is excellent. Both are shot very little. I know this one was owned by a police officer that I bought it from who uh, owned it since new. And he just had it sitting in his house and sold it to me. So, so yeah, I think that even though they're over well over 100 years old, the design is amazing. Uh, in theory, I can get five shots off way, way quicker than uh, my Home Defense 870. So, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.